Hello and a very warm welcome to the final programme of the 2018 season for the Pickup Truck Racing Championship. Scott Vaughan's got the championship lead at the moment, looking to successfully defend the title that he took for the first time last year. But he's being chased by Lee Wood and David O'Regan, all those three guys in with the chance of taking the overall title. We've got the rookie championship up for grabs as well. Dale Gent and Rhys Jones fighting that out and a lot more rookies all trying to get into the top 10 overall of the championship as the year reaches its climax. We're in for a great day's racing here at Brands Hatch. Scott, we're into the last weekend of the year. Decent championship lead. Maybe, maybe not wrap it up in race one. I think we're probably looking at race two, but in all honesty, you never know what's going to happen, do you? No, absolutely. You know, we come here with an open mind this weekend. You know, anything can happen. It's such a such a close action packed championship. Um, you know, it always goes down to the wire. You know, from my point, I'd love to wrap it up in race one, but I think it's maybe going to go into race two. But uh, we'll take each race as it comes, really, and just, uh, you know, do the best we can. And what are your thoughts on the drivers who are chasing you and can mathematically catch you, first of all, Lee Wood? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Lee Wood, you know, he's uh, he's got a great pedigree. You know, he's always going to put the pressure on me. Um, you know, we've raced hard all year. You know, he's... Uh, you know, I know he's desperate to win it and he's really, you know, in the mix for it. You've also got David O'Regan from Ireland. Um, you know, he's going to put a little bit of added pressure on Lee because he wants P2. Um, I think it's going to be a bit heated. It's definitely going to go down to the wire and uh, we're just going to try and keep our nose clean. So Lee, final weekend of the year. Unusually for November, it's dry at the moment. Does, does that change the way you look at the meeting at all? It does, because we obviously always come here and it's normally very wet. Um, I don't mind the wet at all, but uh, it's nice to be on a dry meeting. Um, yeah, looking forward to this weekend. Obviously, we've got nothing to lose being in second place. Um, so we're just going to go out and uh, push as hard as we can. Tried a couple of different things there in qualifying, um, and it, it came to us in the end, which was really good with a P1 in the last session. So uh, let's see what happens in the race. David, so here we are, the last three races of, of the season. What are your thoughts coming in as third place in the championship and chasing both Scott and Lee? <laughs> the first thing is to make sure Michael doesn't catch me, my own teammate, so that's the first thing to deal with. Um, but yeah, I, look, I don't have as much pressure as the boys in front, there's a bit of a gap, I need a lot to happen in front of me, but um, yeah, I mean, look, we're trying different things with the truck, we're going to play around with a couple of things and see where, where we can go this weekend and this weather, this track, this day, and see where we're at. Normally, first weekend in November is horrible at Brands. Yeah, it's Irish weather, isn't it? That's what I'm used to. So it was my home track, so, you know, I was used to the weather. I'm used to rain at home in Ireland a lot of times, so I like the wet. It's kind of one of my things I like to drive in. I don't like getting wet, but I like driving in the wet, so. But look, we're here. We're going to try what we can, and you never know until the fat lady sings. Dale, what a first season for you, and just to reflect momentarily on, on your first win at Pembrey. It's a little bit drier than Pembrey, isn't it, here, but a uh, cracking weekend that was. Yeah, we're glad we've done it. Struggled a bit in the in the first race and qualifying that with the weather being that and we had brake issues, but to win that last race there, it was yeah. I, I was looking in my mirror, I was listening to what the spotter was saying, and I was, all of a sudden I see Scott's car. I thought he's going to catch me. He's going to catch me. I know he is, but we just kept my head down and just keep trying to push. And yeah, we we won. I couldn't believe it. I was well pleased with the team and uh, everything to get me there. So. Reese, end of end of your first season, uh, mathematically with a shout of the rookie title. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels alright, but it's definitely a long way off, I could say that. Um, but the car's good, we're just trying to look down to get a little bit more pace in it for today. What are your thoughts on joining the Championship? Good decision? Yeah, best one I've done, yeah, definitely. I've done quite a bit of racing over the time, of race saloons, cars and stuff like that, but this does top it. It's, it's uh, all about your driving style. So yeah, it's a very good Championship, everyone's so friendly here. You can ask anyone for anything and they'll lend it to you. It's great, really is good. Lee Jones lines up 14th on the grid, which is headed by Lee Rogers and George Tariki. Lee in the 69, the white truck, and George Tariki in the yellow 28. Behind them, Lee Wood, first of our championship contenders, with David O'Regan alongside. Defending champion Scott Bourne, championship leader as well, next to double champion Michael Smith. Then it's rookie championship leader Dale Gent, former champion Pete Stevens, Paul Jones, and rookie champion Paul Tompkins on row five. Then it's Dan Petters and multi Rockingham champion Mark Willis on row six. Row seven, Pro 2 champion Dean Tompkins with rookie championship contender Reese Jones, Jeff Dixon and Christopher Land on row eight. Row nine, newcomer Simon Ward with Roger Dormer, another one of this year's rookies. Mark Cooper and Rich Ailing on row 10, more of this year's rookies, of course. The returning Neil Tressler, another returnee James Goldstraw and Steve Dudman completing our grid. Stuart Bradburn brings the pace truck into pit lane and we're ready to go racing here at Brands Hatch. 
for the anti-penultimate time in 2018. Lee Rogers and George Tariki on the front row of the grid. On board with George, Lee gets a little bit of the drop as they go up towards Paddock Hill Bend. Briefly uphill, then that sweep away to the right and downhill. It's a cracking start from the pickup trucks. Here's the view from Dale Gent, the rookie championship leader, Paul Tompkins to his outside. And it's Tariki on the outside line. Lee Rogers runs wide on the exit. A little bit of a clatter between the two. David O'Regan and Lee Wood are going through. Paul Tompkins is on the grass, manages to rejoin. So much happening. Scott Ford up ahead of Michael Smith. A little bit of clattering here and there. Dale Gent driving into the sunset perhaps uh, metaphorically as well as literally, metaphorically of course championship wise in terms of the rookie standings as Scott Ford challenges Michael Smith, Gent in behind, then Mark Willis in 65 ahead of Daniel Petters on board with Mark Willis across the line they go and it was a good start from the front row pairing but just getting caught up at Druid and the battle for the lead now is between Lee Wood who's looking at the inside line up front on the inside of David O'Regan and I think Wood's going to go through the two Ford powered trucks it's settled at the moment in favour of Lee Wood who gets very tail happy Wood needs the points he's racing hard the man he's fighting with in championship the red number one Scott Ball the defending champion if Scott wins it this weekend it'll be three championships on the bounce because he won the rookie championship at the Pro 2 category two seasons ago he was outright champion last year very nearly took an outright win, race win in, in the Pro 2s. On board with Lee Rogers, still running well here, Lee Rogers, in third place after gearbox problems last time out at Pembrey. The team have fixed those. Always good to see them out. They've been good supporters of the championship over many, many years. And a regular on the podium is Lee Rogers. Bourne and Gent following each other. Next year's championship, well, I know we've got to see this year's out all, uh, already, but the, the point is next year's going to be mouthwatering with so many great drivers in it. Former champion Pete Stevens passes Paul Jones. Stevens, the champion in, in 2009, was runner-up in his defence. He was runner-up twice in, uh, after that as well, 2013 and 14. Anthony Hawkins, uh, the first of Michael Smith's two titles. So Pete Stevens always a front-runner. Paul Jones following him. Paul Tompkins, as I mentioned, the Rockingham champion this year, is next up. And then the flash of grey and pink of Rhys Jones. Looks like problems for Rich Ayling, one of the Pro 2 drivers. Pro 2 engine being the 2-litre, the original pickup truck racing engine. As Michael Smith now challenges for third, he's got that inside line of Lee Rogers, makes the pass. George Tariki will try and follow through. But I think, again, there was a, maybe a little bit of a run between Rogers and Smith. Well, Tariki's gone through, Smith is past Rogers, Bourne is past Rogers as well, then it's Dale Gent followed by Mark Willis, so Lee Rogers not having the happiest of times, maybe a little bit of push as he goes through Druid. He certainly went out wide on that first lap. So George Tariki now in third place, this is the battle for third, Michael Smith busy chasing him in the A1 Performance Products.com sponsored machine. And looks down the inside line, blue skies here at Brands Hatch. Such a contrast to previous years. Michael Smith loves the place, having wrapped up two championships here on the bounce, of course. Michael Smith, 2015 and 2014. So Smith makes the move up into third place, and up into fourth goes Scott Bourne through on the inside line of George Tariki. Remember, this is George's maiden year. He hasn't even done a full season. He, he joined us at Rockingham. He won on his debut at Rockingham on the Oval. And he's a very capable circuit racer as well, and decided to move away from national hot rods and commit to pickup truck racing and he's going to be one to so many rookies that we're going to have to watch next year along with all of the existing talent in pickup truck racing it's going to be an absolutely mega championship next year but we've got this year to enjoy first of all with Lee Wood out front David O'Regan not letting him get away so a good battle between these two second and third in the championship our first and second in the race and Lee Wood doing everything that he possibly can to peg the points that Scott Bourne is, is getting. Scott, incidentally, and Lee both tied on points uh, in the qualifying session, 34 points apiece. The gap between the two coming into the meeting, 272 points. There are 200 points for a win. So Scott needs that 200-point cushion, which realistically and probably will get on race two unless something untoward happens in this big field of pickups that we've got racing this weekend. Roger's still there. Look back, there he is in the white car with 
Mark Willis behind Paul Tompkins and Paul Jones. Tompkins has recovered well from that moment on the grass earlier on. Had uh, really good form, Paul Tompkins, at Rockingham this year. And another driver very well capable of taking the overall championship was third to the great Steve Dance back in 2012. Steve Dance racing historics these days. And as I said, so many drivers that, that could win a pickup truck racing championship. Rich Ayling there, left of shot. Driver we saw have that problem earlier on. Sticking to the inside line, he's well out of harm's way. You'll probably see a blue flag being waved to him, but he's, he's already mindful of that and allowing everybody through. So super driving from Rich Ayling, one of the two litre drivers. Two litre drivers headed at the moment by Dean Tompkins. The other two litre driver we've got this weekend is Chris Land. Oh, and a problem there for James Goldstraw. I think he was trying to get past Simon Ward to make the pass, but winds up in the gravel. A little bit too much momentum for him. Well, I assume that's what was happening. That might bring out the safety car. and That's not going to be good news for... Lee Wood and David O'Regan who have a lead we've got yellows there now is that is that far enough off the racing line the fact that the car has ended up there means that we could get another truck going in at the same point but we'll wait and see how that develops as we watch Scott Bourne now up ahead of George to Ricky Rich Ailing again pulls over great respectful stuff from Rich Ailing allows them through Rich nursing that truck but I think he might wind up in retirement Battle for 14th position here in blue, Mark Cooper busy challenging Jeff Dixon in the yellow 50. And going along Cooper straight, a little bit of a gap in front of them. Let's see what Mark Cooper can do. He's very quick indeed at Pembray in wet conditions. And uh, takes a wide line here going through clearways. He'll look up the inside line. Meanwhile, we switch to George Tariki chasing Scott Bourne. Scott at the moment dropping points on Lee Woods, but it will keep him 200 ahead, which is the key thing, or will it? Because Tariki's looking through on the inside line. Scott Bourne side by side with him. Scott's going to have the inside line going down to Graham Hill Bend. Now, I tell you what, there are so many drivers in other formulae that would have just seeded that, but Scott Bourne's not going to do it. But neither is George Tariki. Tariki gets the position in the end, and Scott will fight back. Let's watch him now. He's going to take a, a wider line here, maybe go for the sweep. Not as wide into clearways as I thought he might be, but he's going to try and slingshot back up the inside line. Scott could effectively, now what I was referring to with other drivers, he could just sit back and not challenge for the place, particularly on the last lap. He could just settle for the points. But he's a racer, he's Scott Bourne. Grabs the curbs there. He doesn't need to championship-wise grab those points, but he is all about the race, particularly because he might be racing against George Tariki next year. They're still side by side. This is superb racing between the pair of them. And I tell you what, Scott running a little bit wide there. George has now got that battle sealed. It's for fourth place. Lee Wood still leading. Michael Smith is chasing David O'Regan. You heard David in the interview a bit worried about maybe losing third place in the championship to his teammate. Michael Smith picking up points for fastest lap. But there is Lee Wood, the race leader ahead of David O'Regan. And this is going to be Lee Wood's eighth win of the year. Scott Bourne has seven. And this is going to be Lee Wood's eighth win of the year as he comes down towards the chequered flag. Lee Wood takes victory. David O'Regan is second. Michael Smith, third place and fastest lap. George Tariki next up. There's Scott Bourne in fifth place. The championship is still alive. The championship gap, by my maths, has gone down to 232 points. Wood, O'Regan, Smith, Tariki have borne the top five. Dale Gent wraps up the rookie championship with six from Lee Rogers. Paul Tompkins and Mark Willis next from Paul Jones. Reese Jones 11th from Daniel Petters. Then Dean Tompkins and Mark Cooper. Pete Stevens 15th from Jeff Dixon, Roger Dormer, Neil Tressler and Simon Ward completing the finishers. So Lee Wood brings his Ford power truck. 14 wins now for Ford in the 2018 campaign to the nine from GM. Lee celebrating on the podium with David O'Regan second at Michael Smith in third. We move on to day two of competition here. All the teams getting ready for the two remaining races in front of a huge crowd, 30,000 people estimated to be at Brands Hatch today. So the teams are getting ready. And whilst they're doing so, we took the opportunity to catch up with first, second and third in race number one of the weekend. Lee Wood, David O'Regan and Michael Smith. Lee, congratulations on the win. Exactly what you needed to keep the championship alive. Absolutely, yeah. It was a, it was a good race for us. Um, 
a tough race against uh, David, obviously, um, but uh, we, we needed to have the win. That's what we've done. We take that into today and see what we can push on, and like, we just got to go, go out for all the wins we can, and that's that's our aim for today. And uh, pole position for the second session, so you, you've got a fair bit of work to do from row three. We have, yeah. Obviously, they reversed the grid, so we're going to be sixth. Um, row three, like you say, so we'll, we'll see what, what happens. Um, we're going to have to be a bit careful on the first couple of laps, but also be mindful not to let the boys in front get away because those are the title contenders there. So, um, yeah, we need to be pushing, but um, also being sensible at the same time. David, congratulations, P2, and a super race with Lee. Yeah, that was a very enjoyable race with, uh, between myself and Lee. It was a bit tight, but... Uh, the boys behind Michael and George, I think, and Scott were coming, so I remember just, come on, Lee, we need to get going here, get away from these boys, we'll have a race at the end. So, yeah, no, great race. Michael, superb to see you back on the podium. Obviously, Brands Hatch proving at the moment to be a good meeting for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, found a bit of pace again this weekend. We've had a up and down season, to be honest. Um, and it seems to be coming together at the end again, but it's a good thing to build on, I suppose, for the start of next season now. And found a bit of pace and yeah we're having a good weekend so far. James really good to see you back with the championship but maybe not the race you wanted yesterday what happened? No yesterday we had a bit of a spin off at Druids uh, got too much rear brake so we've altered that for this race and try we're using the race as a bit of a test session get the car ready for next year. There's a lot of a buzz about next year saying that to, to many of the drivers but um, loads of people came in this year and the momentum seems to be building in the championship. Yeah yeah definitely I, I'm hoping to do a full season next year so uh, I want to try and get the car right now and then uh, have a go at it next year yeah. Pickups on circuit for the second of three races. Scott Bourne hoping to wrap things up, but he's got work to do. Ahead of him, Lee Rogers and David O'Regan on row one. George Turicki third on the grid. Then Scott, the championship leader. Row three, Michael Smith and race one winner, Lee Wood, still in with a shout of the championship. Reese Jones is on row four with Rockingham champion Paul Tompkins. Then it's rookie champion Dale Jed, Pete Stevens to his outside. Dean Tompkins is the Pro 2 champion this year. Once again, Mark Willis to his outside. Then it's Dan Petters and Paul Jones on row seven. Eighth row, Neil Tressler and James Goldstraw. They're followed by Mark Cooper and Jeff Dixon about to re-engage in battle. Then row 10, Christopher Land with Simon Ward. Row 11, not start sadly for Steve Dudman. Roger Dormer on his outside and Rich Ayling completing the grid. Race two of three. The points gap is such that Scott Bourne can afford to lose two or three race places to Lee Wood in this race and still secure the championship. We'll look at the exact mathematics of it once we get underway, which we are now. And as they go into Paddock Hill Bend, it's Lee Rogers qualifying six on the inside line. Scott Bourne from fourth on the grid, challenging for second. David O'Regan is the leader, though. Look at Scott Bourne, outside line, as they go up towards Druids, and he's going to continue that. Has Lee Rogers still got the push that he had in race number eight? Doesn't seem to be as bad, but he was very definite that he wanted to hang on to second place. Scott Bourne third, George Turicki, then Lee Wood, side by side, Paul Tompkins, and a problem there. David O'Regan ran a little bit wide, and he's lost the lead. On board with Michael Smith, side by side with Paul Tompkins, who wants the line, so too does Smith. So it's Lee Rogers leading. Then Scott Bourne, David O'Regan in third, George Turicki actually in third, now with his nose in front, but Rogers runs wide, and Scott Bourne's through, David O'Regan through into second, recovering well from this little moment there at the bottom of Graham Hill Bend, and he's going to go through, not into second, but into the lead, side by side with Scott Bourne at the end of lap number one. Superb way to open the second race, and it's O'Regan on the inside line, Scott Bourne outside, Lee Rogers third, Lee Wood fourth, Ben Michael Smith, Paul Tompkins, George Turicki is behind them, and all of this on the opening lap. Turicki now on board, look at that puff of smoke there. I think that's the dust from the oil which was on circuit, or the clear up from the oil, which our wonderful marshals have done. But it's David O'Regan leading this one. Scott Ford second, Lee Wood now with him in his sights. And then Lee Rogers side by side at the moment, on board with Lee, heading along Cooper straight in towards Surtees. Michael Smith there as well. Michael Smith through, Paul Tompkins next up in 12. George Turicki looks up the inside line in 28. Very cut and thrust, as you can see. Tompkins goes wide. Will he get a faster sweep out of Clark Curve? Yes, he does. Paul Tompkins, so Tompkins in front of Turicki. So we go down the pit straight once again. So a big, big sort out. Behind them, I think it's Dale Gent coming into shot. It is Dale Gent, who's secured by my maths the rookie championship. 6.59 points clear now of Reese Jones, but Reese Jones did get into the top ten of the championship in race number one. 
So well done, Ree. Still second in the rookies, and it is about winning races, but it's also about consistency in pickups. We were chasing Michael Smith, Scott Bourne having a look for the lead here, so Bourne on the inside line, he's got the run here on David O'Regan and shoots through on the inside line. Scott Bourne, what a way to secure the championship this would be. Bourne is through into the lead again, he's already had his nose in front once, but David O'Regan we have also seen has got the momentum to try and fight back at him, and that's what pickups are all about. Paul Tompkins getting good drive on the outside line of Lee Wood and Wood won't want to be passed by him because that's more points down the Swanee to Scott Bourne. Gets boxed in does Lee Wood now as Tompkins tries the outside line of Lee Rogers. George Turicki coming up as well. Wood might want to take stock here. Goes across, defends from George Turicki who now looks on the outside line. George working hard, great shot from on board with him and Paul Tompkins in front, but Wood looks at the outside line at Graham Hill Bend, he might lose a place here to Turicki, indeed he does. Runs a little bit wide, Mark Willis coming up in the mix as well, so too is 83 Dale Gent, Daniel Petters next up, then the Graham Pink machine of Reese Jones in the mix too. This is wonderful racing, this is what the crowds come to watch, a massive crowd here at Brands Hatch today to enjoy the British truck racing, the pickup trucks and all of the other formulae that are entertaining us. And on board with Lee Wood again. He's going to think that the championship's slipping away. Realistically, I think that the pressure was on maybe Scott Bourne to, to just keep finishing the races. And Lee Wood's going to be brewing a non finish and a non start at Snetterton, which really damaged him. If he hadn't have had that, it would have been nip and tuck with him and Scott Bourne at the top of the standings, with David O'Regan still in with a little bit of a shout as well, perhaps. But it wasn't to be. There is Scott Bourne with Michael Smith now in second position ahead of his teammate now the points between Smith and David O'Regan or O'Regan and Smith third uh, and fourth 385 points after race one and there's still 400 points on the table but it's got to be a non-finish for Michael Smith in order for David O'Regan not to secure third position in the championship with this race the gaps 2-3-2 two, two points between Scott Bourne and Lee Wood 2-4-3 between Wood and David O'Regan so pretty much I think we might be looking at things getting settled in this race, but we've still got a long way to go. On board with Michael Smith again, wants to get a win. Smith has only had two third places this year, only two podia. Absolutely incredible that uh, a double champion, it's actually three third places now, isn't it? Because he was third in race number one as Lee Wood tries to get on the inside line of George Turicki. Lee Rogers trying to engage with Paul Tompkins. The race leaders are there. I tell you what, David O'Regan looking very determined as well. But this the battle for the lead. Michael Smith holding on. He's got the inside line. He's got the run on Scott Bourne now. And Michael Smith's going to go through on board with the championship leader. Smith's got the lead. Place changing a plenty here in the pickups. And Michael Smith goes through. Scott Bourne, that's a 10 point drop potentially, but he's in no danger of losing the championship from there unless he gets a mechanical problem. To Ricky, side by side with Lee Rogers. Lee Wood in behind, on board with Wood. Where is their space? There isn't space on the inside. He's got to place a bet, and I think he's going with the yellow fella in front. Lee Wood does. Look at him working the wheel. But Lee Rogers is still there. Was there a little glance? I don't know, but Rogers has lost the place. Now Mark Willis comes down. Willis was hard on the break but couldn't avoid hitting the back end of Lee Rogers' truck. Oh, the man from Exeter will be gutted about that. Willis, for his part, will be disappointed as well. I was having a look down the inside. You saw him on the brakes trying to avoid, but he just couldn't do it. So Rogers out of any meaningful points here. David O'Regan busy chasing, Scott Bourne for second position, up the hill in towards Druids, he's going for the outside line, Bourne with the inside, if David can hang on here he'll have the inside running to Graham Hill Bend, but I don't think he's going to be able to do that, Scott Bourne fighting for second place, doesn't need to fight for second, as we said in race number one, but Scott's a racer, all of these pickup drivers are in it for the race, Scott of course dearly wants to win the championship, but he's not going to have a laid-back race and just let someone go past him. He's going to fight all the way to the flag, but leaves the gap. And the Gold Arts truck passed by the parcel force man goes through on the inside line. David O'Regan up into second place and will now set about chasing his teammate, Michael Smith, who's a good few lengths ahead now. But Scott Bourne, of course, is going to fight back. He's still on for a podium. But Michael Smith, the race leader, 
and dare I say it, Michael Smith hasn't had a race win this year. He's only had third places. Very unusual for a double champion. Looking at Roger Dormer in the seven truck, up ahead of the 52 of James Goldstraw. Those two fighting it out for 14th and 15th position at the moment in a big field, remember. Goldstraw trying to close in. Roger Dorm, one of this year's rookies. It's lightning rod driver as side by side. Paul Tompkins there, a little bit of contact with Neil Tressler. Reese Jones is there as well. Remember, Jones was up on Reese Jones was up on the podium at Croft and Snetterton. Paul Jones a multi-race winner. Neil Tressler a podium finisher as well in pickup trucks. And Reese Jones goes down the inside line along Cooper Strait, gets the position. So Neil demoted, but will fight back. Roger Dormer in behind him and closing in, so a good battle between all the trucks here. A good onboard shot from Neil Tressler, and that's Dale Gent! Well, he won the rookie champion, here's what happened, he got a handful going into Paddock Hill Bend, very nearly spins. He was very cool with it, but I think he's beached, and that's going to be a safety car, without a doubt, he's, he can't move from there, everybody knows he's there. But that's going to be a safety car. We ride on board with Lee Rogers now, trying to close in on James Goldstraw. Roger Dormer in front, so Goldstraw passed by Rogers on his recovery from his moment earlier on. Rogers having a good drive back through the field. He's going to go on the inside line here of Roger Dormer. Rhys Jones and Paul Jones having a good battle up ahead with Neil Tressler next up. Rogers closing in on Neil Tresler. Now he's now going to leave a gap on the inside line. Lee gets a good run off of clearways, slots the truck down the inside line. Very neat move along the straight, cross the stripe and up ahead. But safety car time, and that means they're all going. This is bad news for Michael Smith. There was me beginning to think about Michael Smith's first win of the season. Safety truck, of course, not safety car. And Stuart Bradburn comes on to the circuit and picks up Paul Jones so the leaders are going to be away Dale Gent is still stuck there recovery effected oops and uh, the recovery bungee disappears but well Dale doesn't need that they managed to get him out of the gravel fires up and who knows might even get a few more laps in but he, he'll be away down the order safety truck has now as you would expect picked up the leader so good efficient officiating and Michael Smith the leader but lead negated over David O'Regan and Michael's going to be a little bit concerned about that because he's got David O'Regan third in the championship behind him and championship leader Scott Bourne there as well pace car in and it's Michael Smith that will lead them away again he's going to be so so hungry to take a first win of 2018 the double champion Michael Smith 2014 and 2015 champion, made a good restart. David O'Regan did as well. Here's the view from Scott Bourne of the leaders. How tail happy these trucks are. Remember, if you're in the top three, you get success ballast added on. So David O'Regan with that podium in race number one, he's going to have success ballast on. Michael Smith still coming under pressure. Not overly defensive, I've got to say, at the moment. Down through Graham Hill, Bend. Don't go too far there. That's the ultimate place for track limits. Paul Tompkins, I think, has moved into fourth. There is Paul up ahead of Lee Wood. Lee trying to get on the podium as well. And he looks on the inside line here, Lee Wood, of course. Excellent ballast as Wood tries to get another place up. At the moment, Scott Bourne is in a position whereby he will seal the championship in this race. He's in P3. He's going to have a look for second place on the outside line of David O'Regan. This might be about a cutback, though. Let's see as they go down Paddock Hill Bend towards Hailwoods, not quite close enough at the moment, gets closer as they go up the hill, explores the outside line again going into Druid. But O'Regan's got that covered at the moment. Bourne has a look, a little bit tighter on the apex there at Druid's with Scott Bourne, and right under the rear spoiler of the second place man. And this is bringing Paul Tompkins and Lee Wood into the mix as well. From lap 14 of what should be a 19 lap race now after the safety car intervention. And Wood in fifth, the top five, the top six, seven, indeed all in the same shot here. 
for our penultimate race of the season. And Scott Bourne's having a look down the inside line. He went very tight there and he's challenging for second place. Bourne, side by side. Two cars ahead of us with David O'Regan. Bourne in red, O'Regan in blue. They get the run down the straight. O'Regan, he's on the outside and Scott Bourne goes up into second place but it gets contact from David O'Regan. Inadvertent, I'm sure, but Bourne held on to that superbly. Tompkins is coming up on the inside line now. David O'Regan backed out. Lee Wood now, he's coming up the inside line. And how they all survived that, I don't know. That's the rubbing, big part of pickup truck racing. Scott Bourne's still there. And side by side with David O'Regan, they won't want to clash again. And David, you can see, giving him space as they go into Graham Hill Bend. Back end on Scott Bourne's truck, getting a little bit loose. Here's the view again from David O'Regan, who is fighting for it, and that's helped Michael Smith a little bit. Tompkins second, but runs wider onto the grass and gyrates in a big, big way and glances the barrier. Paul Tompkins is out of the race. I thought that was going to be a podium for the Rockingham champion. Instead, it's a visit into the tyre wall. So Lee Wood now, he's up ahead of Scott Bourne and up into second place, but it's not going to be enough to take the championship to the final race of the year. Well, good news for Paul Tompkins, who rejoins. He's going to be a little way down, is Paul Tompkins. If he's got damage, he'll probably park up. But we're watching the battle for second position. David O'Regan and Scott Bourne have been very much hard at it through this race. Lee Wood nipped through and has got second position but it's still Michael Smith out front. Paul Tompkins incidentally before that off got the fastest lap of the race. So Tompkins very quick. We saw that he was up with the leaders. Look at Scott Bourne working the wheel as he comes through clearways. Clark Kerb onto the Brabham straight now. David O'Regan Length and a half or so, a couple of lengths behind. Scott Bourne will want to try and beat Lee Wood. He knows that in these positions he'll seal the championship, but he'll want to be in front of his teammate. So it's Lee Wood in the Ford. Michael Smith running GM. So it could be a tenth win of the season for the GM engine. But it's the Ford of Lee Wood in second. GM with Scott Bourne. Next up, David O'Regan is a Ford runner, so very evenly matched these pickup trucks. Very little to choose between the engines. Ball runs a little bit wider. Regan very nearly comes out in sympathy and Scott Ball putting the pressure on Lee Wood. Here's the leader, Michael Smith, still in front. Lee Wood coming under pressure from Scott Bourne. Has to keep it fairly tight as they go through clearways. Scott Bourne having a look. Changes up, he's going to try and press home for second position, but at the moment he's got to content himself with third. A little bit further back, Roger Dormer, James Goldstraw, we've got 83, Dale Gent in the mix as well. Dale, a couple of laps adrift after that safety car, but still racing on this year's rookie champion. He's going to have a look to try and pull a lap back on James Goldstraw, but here's the race leader, Michael Smith is winning this one. It's going to be Barring any problems, a first win of the season for the former double champion. But it's going to be Scott Bourne's title. Scott is still there in third place. David O'Regan right behind him. Lee Wood in front of him at the moment. And second position in the championship. And second position in the race for Lee Wood. But Bourne is still there. And he's going to have a look on the inside line if he can get through. But up front, it's this man winning the race. Michael Smith coming through to grab a first win of the year. Smith wins at last in 2018. Second is Lee Wood, third, and the new champion is Scott Bourne. A double champion, Scott Bourne, matching that man who won the race, Michael Smith in the 93. Lee Wood second, Scott Bourne third, from David O'Regan and Mark Willis, George Chiriki sixth, then Dan Petters and Pete Stevens, Mark Cooper ninth, head of Pro 2 winner Dean Tompkins, then Paul and Reese Jones, Lee Rogers 13th from Roger Dormer and James Goldstraw, Jeff Dixon and Simon Ward next from Neil Tressler, Rich Ailing and Dale Gent. Non-finish for Paul Tompkins, non-start for Steve Dudman. At uh, fastest lap to Paul Tompkins as Michael Smith comes into victory lane, ushered into position by Barbara Howard. There is Scott Bourne, who takes third position, and he is a double champion. His wife, Lisa Marie, straight over to congratulate him. Off comes the door, out of the truck comes double champion Scott Bourne. There's a huge reaction to that down in pit lane, and what a reaction that is from Scott himself. And number one! Triple champion, really. Of course, he was the Pro 2 champion, rookie champion two years ago. Graham Holman congratulates him, and that's his tad, Bill. It's very much a tight-knit family, the Bourne family. And you can see the delight for Scott Bourne, double outright 
pickup truck racing champion. Michael, what a race that was. Congratulations on your first win of the season. It's been a long time coming, but well worth it. Yeah, it has been a long time coming. Um, I'm glad I got a win towards the end of the year, to be honest, because I haven't uh, done a season without a win for quite a while, and uh, that would have been a disaster, really. But, um, yeah, pleased with that. The car was brilliant. Um, I don't know what happened towards the end, but I started to get that stupid misfire again, and uh, I think it might be low on fuel because the race was extended. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's where it is, but we'll see when we get back in there. But over the moon. Lee, congratulations, second position. Hardline's on the championship, which goes to Scott, but what a race that was. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was a, a fraught race, and uh, we thought it would be. Um, but we, we sort of dropped back at the start, not really knowing why we just did, but we got back to the front again, finished second. Uh, obviously, Scott's drove a great, great season as well. Um, I'm just disappointed that, that our engine let us down on the Snetterton meeting. That's really cost us the championship this year, and this year was our year, but, um, you know, clearly it wasn't in the end, but uh, that's the way racing goes, so you just got to take on the head and move on, haven't you? And um, uh, But, yeah, can't take away from all the boys. You know, they all drive well. It's brilliant, and that was a great race, like you say. Scott, many congratulations on that championship. What a fraught race, though. Absolutely. It's probably one of the most difficult races I've been in, really. It was action-packed, you know. We just tried to keep our nose clean, and we had to just uh, pace the race on Lee, really. And, uh, you know, Lee was our main rival in that race, and, uh, you know, just to finish him home was enough to clinch the title for us again. Double champion. How does that feel? Oh, it's, you know, it's overwhelming. It hasn't quite sunk in yet, but... Uh, you know, it's a dream to win it once, to win it twice. You know, it shows strong, strong amongst the team and, you know, the car and that. So over the moon, you know, all my sponsors, DLRD, Paul Exxon and all that, without them, it wouldn't be possible. Stay with us because after the break, we've got the final race of the season. The final race of the 2018 Pickup Truck Championship here at Brands Hatch. The championship is settled and a pole position goes to Mark Willis from George to Ricky. The champion Scott Ford on row two with the man third in the standings, David O'Regan next up. Michael Smith and second in the championship, Lee Wood on row three. Row four, Dan Petters and Lee Rogers. Fifth row, Paul Jones and pro two champion, Dean Tompkins. They're followed on row six by Pete Stevens and Rhys Jones. Seventh row, Mark Cooper and this year's rookie champion, Dale Gent. Row eight, Paul Tompkins with Roger Dormer. Then on row nine, it's Jeff Dixon and James Goldstraw. Tenth row of the grid, Neil Tressler with Simon Ward. And row 11, Rich Ayling, but a non-start for Steve Dubman. Finally, the grid completed by Christopher Land. Final race of the year about to get underway. Mark Willis and George Turicki pacing everybody down towards lights out. They look fantastic when they're all together. They look fantastic racing as well, of course. Look for lights out. There it is. We are truck racing for the last time here in 2018 at Brands Hatch. Side by side into Paddock. Willis and Turicki, they, I think, maybe make a little bit of contact. And Willis is around. This could be a big accident. Lee Wood manages to avoid, goes through the gravel and rejoins, but he's lost a lot of positions. Willis is beached, but Lee Wood Manages to rejoin in last position. That's going to be a safety truck intervention for sure. It's Tariki leading from Scott Bourne in second place. Now, if Lee Wood had been in the championship, that would have been a defining moment. But uh, Scott Bourne, of course, sewed up the championship in the previous race. Mark Willis is still in his truck, but being recovered. A dismal season for Mark Willis. But remember, he's a triple champion in pickups and a multi-champion in other disciplines. Well, a lot of drivers would have thrown the crash helmet down, thrown the gloves on the floor, back in pit lane, but Mark Willis has rejoined the race, hats off to him, and that's the ethos of pickup truck racing, these are all guys that just want to race, George Turicki the leader, Scott Bond second on the restart, it's a good restart as well, this is Turicki's first meeting here at Brands Hatch, the others with more experience of the Kent circuit, and it's Scott Bourne chasing. Michael Smith is fourth at the moment, his teammate in front of him. Great to see Michael Smith having had that win in race number one. But where has O'Riga come from? Right the way around the outside of Scott Bourne and challenging for the lead. He's not going to get the lead. I don't think he's going to get second place at the moment unless he can hang on. Scott Bourne giving him a very respectful racing between the pair of them there. A little tap by Bourne on the back end of the number eight truck who doesn't seem to be overly happy there at Graham Hill Bend, but he's still there in third place. So Regan's attempt to get into the lead, got him into second, but Bourne fights back, and he's now in P2 once again with George Turicki. First time visitor, he wasn't at the opening meeting, was he? No, because he joined the championship full-time mid-season. 
and looking for his first circuit race win. One on the oval at Rocking, as, as we've told you before. David O'Regan then still in third place, climbs up the hill in towards Druid. Scott Bourne again on the inside line, defensive little lock up there from Tariki. And going into the side of him there is Scott Bourne. And how George Tariki pulled that into line so quickly, I do not know. I'm surprised he didn't lose second place as well. But hats off to him for a very good recovery, a masterly recovery from Tariki. Hasn't even lost momentum, although David O'Regan coming under pressure from Michael Smith, who's looking on the inside line of his teammate and he's filtering through into third. Yeah, Smith third, O'Regan fourth. Daniel Petters is in fifth place and a little bit further back, Paul Tompkins, the... Rockingham champion going through on the inside of Reese Jones. Reese in the 40 truck has had a good meeting points wise. Didn't manage to take the battle for the rookie championship to race two, but he has got up inside the main top ten of the championship. On board with Reese chasing father and son. I can't think of another championship where father and son have both won their categories. Paul Tompkins, Rockingham champion. Dean Tompkins, the son out of the two, is the Pro 2 2 litre champion. If there are any other championships in the UK, where that has happened, the father and son winning championships, I'd love to know. Answers on a postcard, please. Rhys Jones in the 2.3, passing the two litre of Dean Tompkins. If you've missed a few rounds, then you might not know that Rhys Jones did switch to 2.3, which I think was the Thruxton meeting. But uh, by and large, this year in the championship has, has been in the 2.3 class, but did have a two litre at the start of the year. David O'Regan trying to get back on terms. Michael Smith is now fourth, O'Regan third, George Tariki second, Scott Bourne moving away at the front. Now, just to uh, add to what I was saying about, you know, Mark Willis has joined, rejoined the race after going off. Scott Bourne here didn't have to race in this, in this particular event. He's won the championship, and in most other championships that I've commentated on this year, when a championship's been won, particularly towards the top end of the national racing scene, if a championship's won before the end of the year, the drivers don't bother coming out for the last race, but these do. This is all about entertainment for the race fans, and these guys love their racing, and look at O'Regan. Gets on the inside line here of George Tariki. It's a double, side by side as they come across the line here at Brands Hatch. Michael Smith, keeping a watching brief at the moment, can't quite get up and challenge these two. O'Regan on the inside was always going to get the place, but watch for Tariki, maybe go for the cutback, no, he's too far back and maybe not as familiar with it, with Brands Hatch as the other drivers because it is his first race, race meeting here and leaves a little bit of a gap and Druid again gets rubbed by Michael Smith. I tell you what, if George Chiriki rubs people next year, nobody can blame him at all. He's really had a physical race here and driven well. That's a problem for Lee Rogers. The Exxon Race Engines truck pulls off to safety. I think that's a, a sensible place to park the truck and uh, sadly that's out of the race he was in the top 10 coming into the meeting as Lee Wood fights with Pete Stevens, goes through on the inside line just outside the top 10 these two drivers and Lee Wood remember he's got all that gravel on the front of the truck or the dust on the front of the Ford power truck because he was in the gravel avoiding Mark Willis now granted we had the safety truck intervention but he's had to work his way through uh, and has worked his way through half of the field already so a good drive from him as we watch Jeff Dixon, James Goldstraw and Neil Tressler. Neil Tressler himself a podium finisher at Rockingham a couple of seasons ago. Is he chasing James Goldstraw and Jeff Dixon? If you look at the 50 truck close up, the number, can't see it from here, but if you're ever in the paddock with this, it says life begins at 50. Jeff, one of their more senior drivers. The age demographic of pickups has probably come down a bit in the last couple of years. And Freddie Lee instrumental in that, the uh, 2016 champion. So Scott Bourne still the race leader. Here comes Daniel Petters running in fifth place. I make no apology for repeating myself, but Dan Petters was a superstar here in the first meeting, his first time out at Brands Hatch at the start of the year in the wet. And it's going to be a major force to be reckoned with in pickups next season. And to come out of the National Saloon stock car formula. So Dixon and Goldstraw still having a good race. Let's see what James can do about Jeff come through Clark Curve onto Brabham straight not really that straight when you watch the onboards but to all intents and purposes it's the home straight is he going to get close enough to make a move might go for the cutback Jeff Dixon though tight on the apex there drifts across he'll come across to the right to defend going into Druids which he does 
and he's going to force James Goldstraw to have a look around the outside in the 52 truck. So Goldstraw has a look, can't quite do it. Truck not sticky enough to give him the grip around the outside line, so he's going to have to find another way, maybe on the inside line at the end of Cooper Strait, if he's close enough, as the two Joneses have a battle not related, these two, as far as I know. Paul Jones on the inside line. Then we've got Dale Gent in black immediately behind them and currently in front of us. Oh, and Christopher Land goes off, has a little moment off the track. Chris, one of our Pro 2 drivers, I think, going 2.3 next year. As Scott Bourne goes on to the last lap. Now, a reminder, Scott Bourne wraps up the championship race two, doesn't need to be racing in this one, but he's leading, he's got a good lead, he's got the fastest lap as well, and he's on his way to take a win. What a way to finish the season it will be for Scott Bourne. Like I said, doesn't need to be out there, but the motivation is not diminished. He's won the championship but still wants to go out and grab another win. Lee Wood side by side with Dale Jett. That's for eighth place. So Wood has come through from last, well up into the top ten. Uh, but currently ninth, he's going to look on the inside line of Dale Gent here. Is he going to get the move done side by side into Surtees? Should be a completion for Lee Wood again. Another driver as Scott Bourne crosses the line to take the win. I was going to say Lee Wood did not want to give up despite those problems. David O'Regan second, Michael Smith third. But there is the 2018 champion who rounds off the season with a win. O'Regan second, Smith third, Daniel Petters fourth, then Paul Tompkins, Reese Jones and Paul Jones followed by Lee Wood, Dale Gent in ninth. Dean Tompkins 10th from Pete Stevens and Jeff Dixon. Neil Tressler next, Roger Dormer and James Goldstraw. Simon Ward, Christopher Land, Mark Willis and Rich Ayling complete the classified finishers. George Chiriki, Mark Cooper and Lee Rogers sadly out of luck. David P2 and uh, well, a, a good meeting really at the end of the day. Yeah, no, that was brilliant. I don't think I was anywhere near where Scott was <laughs> with pace wise, he, he pulled away from us. Um, Good weekend, good year, third in the championship, couldn't be happier, highest finish I've got uh, since doing this series, so I couldn't be happier at the minute. And to finish on a podium as well, at the end, was happy. Oh, Michael, what a meeting, and you look, you're just out of the track, you look, that looked like hard work. Yeah, that was hard work, actually. Um, all three races, I've had a bit of a misfire, and uh, it keeps coming back, and we keep thinking we've cured it, and it ain't, and that race there, it was the worst of all three races, so we'll have to find what that problem is, but um, happy to finish there. We've had quite a good weekend, to be fair. Um, so it's a nice way to end the season, really. Scott, that's a super way to, to finish the year. Uh, first of all, was, was there any contact with Mark going into Paddock? No, I think uh, Mark went in. I don't know. Uh, I think him and uh, George had a little coming together. Um, unfortunately, you know, it was gutting to see Mark uh, go off there. But uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it was a difficult race, that. Fastest lap. You, you say difficult, but you're making it look easy. It was a, a good gap at the end. And that's, that's exactly how you want to sign off a championship year, isn't it? Absolutely, you know, uh, that race, I think uh, a little less pressure, shall we say, you know, uh, you know, we managed, we had all the pressure all weekend leading up to race one and two, you know, we managed to ride it off in race two, race two and do that, so uh, race three was an all-out race, you know, we had nothing to lose, so uh, to get the fastest lap and take the win, you know, that was just a lovely bit of icing on the cake to finish the season off. A typically spectacular pickup up trial race to end the 2018 season. And here's the championship table. Scott Bourne, our champion from Leeward and David O'Regan. Michael Smith in fourth from Dale Gent. Paul Tompkins in sixth. Pro 2 champion, Dean Tompkins. Well, that's the end of our 2018 pickup truck racing championship. Superb year, I'm sure you'll agree. Congratulations to all our winners. Rookie champion, Dale Gent. Third in the championship, David O'Regan. Second place, Lee Wood. And double champion, Scott Bourne. Many thanks for your company this year. And we hope we'll have the pleasure of your company once again in 2019. Thanks for watching and bye for now.